Ukraine will definitely win this war, Volodymyr Zelensky said in an interview with Dutch television. But the question of when and how exactly are still open. One of the probable scenarios experts describe as a prolonged war until one of the sides is exhausted. If we compare the GDP of Russia, which is about 1.5% of the world's GDP, to the GDP of the advanced countries that support Ukraine, as of today we are talking about 50% of the world's GDP. We understand that this war of exhaustion will rather ruin Russia. This scenario of victory of the occupying country before the war is over cannot be dismissed, analysts say, although objective facts do not speak in favor of this scenario. Russia is already close to exhausting the resources it has accumulated precisely to achieve victory in this war, and in order to finally defeat Ukraine, it will need another decade, which it does not have. Now, the option under discussion is whether Putin could declare a ceasefire. In this case, the Russians will be told that the goals of the so-called special military operation have already been achieved, and the inability to achieve the original ones would be kept silent in order not to mention the defeats. Such a solution to the problem is not a solution. In fact, it is a procrastination, a stalling of time. Right now Putin will not agree to a ceasefire, Putin will only agree to a ceasefire when he is cornered. The war could be prolonged for two to six months regarding the weapons that have been accumulated. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of the president, considers. However, according to him, it is impossible to give exact forecasts. There are thousands and hundreds of factors influencing the situation. Ukraine is doing whatever it can to win as soon as possible. The accumulation of weapons with a certain range of fire will allow us to easily defeat any territory. Once we equalize this parameter with Russia, thanks to the intelligent type of warfare, we will quietly de-block all of our territory. It is necessary to start working more intensively again with the pro-Russian lobby that exists in Europe to ensure that it does not have the ability to further promote these narratives that are murderous for Ukraine. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, in an interview with Medusa. And if in the first days of the war only few people in the West believed that Ukraine could hold on, now more and more people believe in the probability of victory of Ukraine. And the citizens of Ukraine have no doubts either. Reported by Roman Smoller, Valeria Nikipelova, UATV News.